Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I actually am having a wonderful one. It's still kind of cool out here on the East Coast, uh, upper 40s, but me and the wife and my daughter, Michaela, we went for about a two and a half mile walk trying to get in a little bit better shape because, well, Let's face it, this is what always happens to me in the off season, or excuse me, during the season, is I put on weight. So it's time for me to get rid of that weight. Be that as it may, that's not why you're here. You're here because we have an update here that has just happened, and I want to make sure I bring it to you. And we'll definitely be talking about this um, in our call in show at uh, 5 p.m. Per Adam Schefter, about 10 minutes ago, former Vikings head coach Mike Zimmer, who last worked the NFL in 2021, is meeting with the Cowboys about the defensive coordinator job per league sources. Zimmer and the Cowboys are quite familiar with each other. Zimmer worked um, as an assistant coach in Dallas from 1994 to 2006 and um, actually survived many, many different coaches that the Cowboys had because he was basically working originally with um, Barry Switzer and went through the Chan Gailey and... um, Geez, all the way up through to Bill Parcells uh, before he was actually hired uh, in Atlanta. From Atlanta, he went to being the defensive coordinator with the Cincinnati Bengals and eventually being the head coach with the Minnesota Vikings, having actually taken the Minnesota Vikings to an NFC Championship game there. Now, um, I was actually, before I was ready to do this video, one of the things I was going to talk about, I was going to do a video later on today about this was, does the next candidate for defensive coordinator um, is one of the requirements that in a pinch you could become a head coach for the Cowboys. And the reason I asked that question or put that question out there is because of thinking about the Dallas Cowboys and the situation that we are currently in with them is do we look at this and say we're waiting for Mike McCarthy to fail? I'm not. I'm not. But understanding where Jerry Jones had went through a situation where he had the coach in waiting um, with being Jason Garrett, that he was hired because they were familiar with him. He was the anointed one. And as soon as there was some bad times with, with Wade Phillips, they ended up getting rid of him and bringing him in there because one thing the Cowboys like to do and I will say that um, Mike Zimmer I think has a a better track and opportunity to become the head coach of the Cowboys excuse me the defensive coordinator of the Cowboys is the familiarity typically the Cowboys like to promote from within because they want to have a comfort level with the people they want to know that they can control them or manage them the way they see fit if you're bringing in a Ron Rivera You don't know how, or at least the Cowboys don't know exactly how they'll be able to control him if he is controllable by what they want to do and so forth. At least that's my personal thinking. Um, One of the few hires that became um, outside the building was Mike McCarthy, who ended up, of course, they picked Mike Nolan, which was a disaster, and then they went to Dan Quinn. So this definitely bears watching, and we'll see where this goes. But you look at it and say, Mike Zimmer, having had a relationship and being here when the Cowboys won a Super Bowl last and having head coaching experience, uh, being comfortable with um, Jerry Jones and the Jones family, um, actually having defenses that's a 4-3 defense, but he has a 4-3 defense that is changeable, so he could work with the personnel that you have already on here and modify it and put his own spin on it. He is definitely an aggressive play caller, so uh, we wouldn't be losing that element from what we have on our defense and so on. So as soon as we hear anything more on this situation, we'll be sure to bring it to you and let you know what we find out and we'll definitely be talking about this come five o'clock eastern on our live stream catch you there peace out